Hi, my name is Paul Davis. I'm the creator and designer of Sweet Home Biofuel products. About three and a half years ago, a friend of mine introduced me to the concept of a biofuel. Once I'd done some studying and research on the internet about it, found how productive it can be for our country, reducing the dependency on foreign oil. It's something we can make right here at home, very inexpensive. For example, I make my fuel for 70 cents a gallon. I've got five vehicles that all burn diesel, and the savings are tremendous. This is an easy as one, two, three process that anyone that can read and push buttons can operate this machine. The necessary components to make the fuel is used restaurant grease, sodium hydroxide, which is lye, and methanol. You push load one, and that loads the methanol into the small tank. You put the lye measured amount into the automatic, automated lye dispenser on the back, and then you put the hose in to Then you insert the hose into your oil and push load two. When you get the desired amount of oil in the large tank, you push the process button once. At this point, it'll pump the methanol lime mixture from the small tank into the big one, and it'll start a process. It'll heat it and circulate it through a fractionator. This is the only machine on the market that has a fractionator built in. This helps the oil to blend more thoroughly with the sodium hydroxide methanol mixture and therefore creating a better biofuel. And I'd like to point out the lye dispenser. It's automated so you don't have to stand there and administer the lye yourself. The ball turns at the proper rate to put the lye into the mixture of methanol. The machine does this automatically for you, less thinking involved. The fractionator helps to blend all the oil molecules with the methanol lime mixture. The heater is built into the piping at the bottom of the large tank. Bottom of the large tank. And this automatically heats it. It's thermostatically controlled. When the blending and heating process is all complete, it settles out. You drain the glycerol off the bottom through the yellow handle valve. The next step is to Okay, stop. The next step of the process is to put the red handle nozzle into your fuel into your fuel tank and push a green button marked unload. This pumps the fuel through a 10 micron filter right into your vehicle. This is a one man operation to make fuel. It's inexpensive, easy to use, easy to make. The color differential on the fuel on top of the machine, that represents two different types of oil. Might be from a fried chicken restaurant, might be from a Mexican restaurant. Each one the oil will vary a little bit. In any case, it still burns 92% cleaner than diesel. Lubricates 40% better than diesel and is harm, harmless to taste. You can drink this and all it's going to do is clean your body. Yeah, Paul, tell us what we have here. Well, what we have here is from a local steakhouse restaurant. It's their used fryer grease. This is after about two weeks of use. The lighter colored on the bottom has moisture in it. And I'll separate that off and just use the darker part on top. And this is what I make fuel for, out of to run all my vehicles. Yeah, so Paul, so how long have you been running this fuel in your diesel trucks and what diesel trucks do you run right now? I run an international cab over on the highway. I run a 2002 Dodge 1 ton 3500 series off the biofuel we make right here at home and collectively I've got about 500,000 miles on biofuel. Right well Paul it was nice to meet you and I think you're quite an inventor and how many of these units have you sold? Oh there's a couple dozen of them out there throughout the Northwest. Very good, very good.